It's the final weekend of round robin play in Super Rugby. And if you thought these two sides who have both qualified already for quarterfinal action will be too busy preparing for next weekend, well, you are sorely mistaken. There is more than you can shake a stick at on the line here for these two sides. It's the Hurricanes at home looking for revenge against the undefeated Crusaders. Hello everyone and welcome on to Cornflakes Group, your home of Rugby Challenge 3 and the Super Rugby season where we are in the final round of round robin play. It's been a good break since we had the internationals and since Super Rugby took some time away but we are back and we are back with a stunning matchup as well. The Hurricanes who have gone through a raft of changes right before kickoff have seen plenty of new people coming into the side. Or Terry Black as one. We've got Houston on the right wing coming in, which has meant that Milner Scudder has moved back to fullback. Black is in for Bowden Barrett, of course. Geordie Barrett, who was supposed to start at 15, has moved to outside centre to partner Lau Marpe. But otherwise, the forward pack unchanged, but it is really in the backs that there is a lot of new faces, a lot of new names into the starting team that have not played together too much they will have to do some real digging deep to find the continuity in this game versus the Crusaders who have been undefeated and are looking to go for the perfect season in 2017. And here is that team looking to do that just task. And it's a new look to their front row as well. Crockett, for now and El Alatoa lining up along the front row. It's Romano and Barrett who will start in the second with Taufua Todd and Kieran Reid starting at number eight. Bryn Hall gets the nod at nine. Outside him is Mawanga and Havili is persisted at inside centre with Goodhue outside him. Bridge and Tamani Valu on the wings of Israel Dagger fullback. It is a settled lineup for the Crusaders, much more than their opponents, the Hurricanes, who have a lot of work to do to match what this team has done all season long. We are all set for kickoff. Jordy Barrett has the ball for the Hurricanes. He sits on halfway. And of course, as we talked about before, no Bowden. So all the pressure now falls on another Barrett, and it's Jordy. And he thumps it underway. He's got his first all black try. He's got a couple of caps. And he looks full of confidence as the Crusaders really? look to set the ball up here. And work their way up there in half. They've got a lot of pressure on Mikatelli. He's turned this over. Lamarpe doesn't pass too often. Black sets it up. Julian Salvia gets the bus rumbling. But it's dragged into touch. Good tackle from behind. Hurricanes turning early possession into opportunity here. Being made, doing the laps around the lineouts. It's finally, for now, puts it in. It's at the back and looked like a hint of a forward pass there. Really is. But Todd has let that one go on the referee as well. Here is Reed. Great pass from Reed to for now. Really it's there again for Scott Barrett. Now there's room for Bridge. Bridge is running and kicking. Is this too deep? No! What a kick from Bridge. George Bridge puts it on a thread. And he puts it on a penny just inches from the sideline. And that is a great skill to have on the left wing for the Crusaders. Such an adaptable team. Piranara goes away to Black. Who chips over the top right. He's up here. Storming through. But Bridge cleans up. He's got to be really? careful here though. The referee again warning. The Hurricanes, it's a smash into another breakdown. Plenty of numbers there for the Canes, they don't find the ball. Romano, Reed quickly shifting out to Seta Tamani Balu, who's taken an attack really? from Piranara. Couple of yellows, couple of reds, sitting out there waiting. Reed slips out of one again, Kieran Reed's been dangerous. He's passed through Tafua. But at the back, Miller Scudder puts him in touch. That is danger. Kieran Reed knows his way around a tackle, through a tackle, and offloading in a tackle as well. Here's Riccatelli. Again, Abbott's the man. Oh, short ball in the line out. Really and Favita takes that one down. Here is Black. Terrible pass for Teddy Black. He's isolated Shields. Shields did a bit of strife here. And he somehow got the ball back. And now Teddy Black has got it. And he's. It is 22, but it was carried back. And he 
Finds touch nicely, eluding his round tag. And eluding the Crusaders from position inside their 22 once more. Ben for now, he will have the throw in. He goes again to the back. That's a dangerous area. And that is a superb pass to Crockett. Back into Todd. And this is the difference. Continuity is flying high for the Crusaders. It's Tau Fuller. Tries to smash his way through the middle. Slow support for the Canes. And the Crusaders get slow ball back. Romano, now he's off weight. And that's dangerous again for Todd. Release. And quickly, the ball comes straight back. Now they go wide. Hall to Goodhue. Bridge is out there, but he doesn't like the look of it. They keep it alive, and they do well as well. Al Malatoli, it's a Tarinci Moanga. But it's finally pulled down. Good tackle coming in from his opposite number, all Teddy Black. Romano again. Oh, he's isolated as ever. Really? He's going to be turned over here. This yellow jumper's all over it. This has to be back. And it is to the Canes. Now they come again. Shields. Black. Black sides through. Gets through on the outside. But a terrible pass. He just got outside Jack Goodhue. And if his pass could have been a little bit more accurate, we could have been celebrating the first try of this match. Once again, Ben Fennell around halfway. Gets the ball to the front this time. And Romano slides it wide. It's Goodhue. Going outside, it's Harvey back in Crockett. Here's it another is. look. Referee, it's how the players off once more. That's a great flat ball. Wow, Abbott absolutely dinking him. Now it's Julian Savier. He's got a couple of beat. Can't get away from Tamani Valu. Really is. Good battle out there between those two. Tamani Valu wins this one. Here's a bit of a run from Ben May. And he trundles on through. Somehow the Crusaders don't find the ball straight away, but the Hurricanes get out of trouble. And now it's Bryn Hall who just smashes this away. And it directly finds touch. That was a little bit troublesome there. But now they come again, the Hurricanes. They have a full seven man line out. And it's Ricky Riccatelli who goes to the back and oh it's knocked on from Piranara who's given away an easy turnover. So that gives straight back possession to the Crusaders. That was terrible. Piranara will be expecting Crunch. better. Bind. So now scrum will back down. Scrum feed to the Crusaders. Just minutes before half time as well. Can they cook up a brilliant play to go 60 odd metres? Waiting in the back is Bryn Hall. Picks it up, goes oh, directly to where the defence was. And Piranara has put Moonga down. Now they spread though, they've got room here. Good view, inside it goes. All trouble, balls loose, Bridge is waiting. It's all over the show. Crockett goes the way to Bridge. Inside is good, back to Hall. And Hall has said, I don't want to play anymore. But it's out there, Milner Scudder, who says, I do. He steps one, he goes again. Milner Scudder, he's a danger. We can tell he's right there. And this will be turnover ball. Crusaders get it back in once again. It is Bryn Hall who says, I don't want to play. Here comes Jordy Barrett now. He slices up in the hole. He goes through the gap. But he's hammered last line. This time, these yellow jumpers to help him out. Do we have a result here? Do we have a finish? It's five for Vina. He's got Lamarpe. Goes early to Salvia. Should have hung on. Slow ball, though, for the Hurricanes. What can they do? Piranara, that's a terrible play. He's got it to his Houston. He is hammered in a big tackle. Someone's got to make a mistake here, surely. Piranara again. How wide to Fafita. And the big legs are trembling. But he is isolated. And again, it's good you Getting away to ball. That is great to Todd. He's away, Todd. Inside ball. Karen Reed. Here's Ortini Black. Put it away, Ortini. That is disgusting. How did he shut down the All Black captain that well? It is Bryn Hall. Piranaro's turned it over. And now Lamarpe says, I don't want to play anymore. And he drills this desperately and long into touch. And bizarrely, the finish of that match 
has gone the way of the Crusaders who almost got that finishing touches. Nil, nil between the Hurricanes and the Crusaders. These two sides going toe to toe with an incredible game. Possession is all to the Canes as is territory. Both sitting around 70 and 80 percent. Line breaks are five each. Neither team has scored from 10 line breaks. That is amazing. Handing it so the Canes are doing plenty more of those. So they've got work to do in the second half. They want to keep this one nice and clean and come away with the win. It is all on the line and it's all to play for. Hurricanes, Crusaders locked up at 0-0. Well, they've had chances. Both sides have had plenty of chances. Neither of them have taken a sliver of them. Not even three points as Richie Moanga gets the second half back underway. Lamar Bay finds on Teddy Black, who's knocked it on. A sitter that has given advantage back to the visiting side. The Crusaders with a scrum feet inside the 22. And that shows you the advantage of a deep Crash. kick out. Fine. It is right on the 22. Set. Bryn Hall puts it in. Oh, that is a great shove. Crusaders set peaks master. What can they do? Oh, nothing there. As good he was fresh, but wide they come. Lamape, great pass. Again, they continue with Moanga. Release. It was one on one. The tackle had to be made. Reed. Oh, he went the wrong way. Kieran Reed. He had to go to the right. Sits up to Mani Balu. Moanga again holds it for Reed. It's changing directions every which way you look, but it's to Mani Balu in the corner. Gets put down and surely turned over. No! Unbelievable. Savia hasn't got a hold on that. Now they go wide, a little bit deeper. They've got plenty of numbers for their names. It's Godhu! And Jack Godhu's over! That is what the Crusaders do if you just keep giving them chances. Jack Goodhue scores, but it was all mistakes from the Hurricanes, and look what happened. They finally went wide, and it was only poor old uh, big man out there, Fafita and Lousy. It was, I think it was Lousy, the one who was the last man standing. There he was there. Terrible defensive work there from the Hurricanes. And the Crusaders come away with first points in the match and in the second half. Crucial extra two on offer. Oh dear me, Moanga has missed that by a mile. That is a terrible, terrible kick from Richie Moanga. And the Crusaders stay at just five to nil. Who thought the match would be like this? Two outstanding attacking sides. Just one try in 50 minutes as Jordy Barrett slaps us very high. And deep. Oh, it's left to bounce. That is trouble. Right on the sideline. Oh, kickoff into touch. What a terrible, terrible call from the referee. And credit to the Crusaders. They have said, have another go. And Barrett does exactly the same thing, but Goodhue, the try scorer, pulls this one in. And now they've worked it out, the Crusaders. Release. Spin it wide. That is how you can win this game. This time they go short. Ali Alatoa. Sits it inside at 22. Oh, Havili. That's a turnover, Piranara. Quick ball. Where's Hussain? He stands. Oh, he's put down. Had to score that opportunity. Piranara inside ball to Mongolian. That is class from TJ Piranara. And Jeffrey to Mongolian scores one of the simplest tries of his career. It was all created by the ball in. Watch this. They skipped. They skipped out and watch him inside. That is sensational. That is pinpoint play from TJ Perinara. Houston should have scored himself, but quick ball. And watch that bang. He drew in both defenders. And the big tight head prop just 
Well, he trots over like the last few metres of a galloping racehorse. Experience, pace are told there for the Hurricanes to say, tie things up. And now it's up to, the, up to this young genius of New Zealand rugby, Geordie Barrett, to slot the extra two. And he does exactly that. Geordie Barrett's got it over. It is seven five, is kicking prowess. Coming to the four in absence of his brother. Richie Moanya. He'll get his back underway, and Lamarpe does away to Jordy Barrett. He gets rid of one. But a good tackle from Bridge puts him down. Perinara fires a big ball out. It's Prop City at the moment with Ben May. Somehow gets it out to Shields. Shields sitting behind. He needs friends, though. He finds one for Vita, who goes to Lousy. Sam Lousy stops things right on halfway. Short ball to Black and all Teddy Black. He's a danger in open space. Oh, but the Crusaders like the look of this. Do they find a bat? No. Excellent play. Once again, Fafita away to Azusa. Now he's in room. He's got space. Again, it's against Israel Dag. He kicks forward. He's gone again. He's regathered. But Israel Dag slides from in the field of play into the end goal and gives his side a 22 metre dropout. Well, Usin was all over that quickly and very fast. Here's Savia. Oh, Savia! Release. Hefty hit there on the left winger. It is 7 5. This is a stunning game at the moment. Oh, Teddy Black. He got the call. Miss Black on Dag. Oh, he's gone. He smashed him. But Savia! Savia flies through. And Arty Savia scores. What could be a decisive try? Well, some may say that was a late hit on Orteni Black. Others will say this is a great number seven at work. It was poor play at the back by the Crusaders. And it's got to fall on Bryn Hall. He should have put that away. Mark Abbott did superbly. But that's debatable. It was debatable, but the defence at the back was nothing short of terrible. Adi Savia scores, and it's all the big boys doing it here tonight. Jeffrey Tumanga Allen, Adi Savia. And now it's just nine to go. Jordy Barrett could put this one completely beyond the Crusaders. Strikes it beautifully and strikes it over. Hurricanes lead 14 5. And we only have minutes to go. And we have some changes here for the Crusaders as well. Taylor making his way on for Fennell, also on the back row. We have Jed Brown coming on for Jordan Taufua. Fresh legs for the previously. Maybe. Not anymore undefeated Crusaders. High kick off from Moanga. Fafina, he's given that to no one. And it's gone straight to touch. Mistake there from the Hurricanes blindside flanker. Line out here to the Crusaders. What can they do? What can they cook up? And it goes. Stolen Abbott. He's been superb. Black. Lamar Bay had to wait for it, but he goes wider to Julian Savia. He had Barrett on his shoulder. Houston's out here on the left wing. He has gone end to end at the moment. Quick ball out. Lamar Bay didn't really want it. Black has got a man at the same time, and Abbott has been hammered. They're very flat at the moment, the Hurricanes. Lamar Bay, he'll run all day long. Good tackle, though. Good who puts him down. This is the dying moments here. Riccatelli, the way to May. Looking to make something happen here for Houston. Houston can do it. He's had chances, but he can't get away from Israel Dag. Poor old Houston. Here's Black. They want to keep going here. The Hurricanes, the Mape. He's looking. And what a line from Julian Savia. Who will put this one away? What a finish. Hurricanes do it in a canter. Crusaders, their undefeated streak is over. What a line 
from Jolie and Savia. This is it from La Mampe. Watch him cut back. And he just dumbfounded the poor efforts from Romano, who is really at sea out there defending against two dangerous ball runners. And they combine beautifully. La Mampe and Savia. What a prospect those two are. Julian goes over. And the Hurricanes will put that streak to bed. Jordy Barrett has been phenomenal here tonight for the Hurricanes. And the home team, they exact revenge against the Crusaders from a few weeks before the international break where they were, well, with no uncertain terms, put to rest by a tactical masterclass. We have not seen that here tonight at all from the Crusaders as they go down in a screaming heap for the first time in 2017. The Hurricanes, they may not finish as the top qualifier, but they finish with one big scalp in the back. 21-5, the final score. And it is three tries to one. Jeffrey Tumanga Allen, Ardi Savia, and Julian Savia picking up one try apiece. Jordy Barrett was for one from the team. Three out of three when it comes to the conversions for the Crusaders. Unbelievably, one try to Jack Goodhue. No conversions at all. They were missed by Richie Moanga. Well, it was domination, wasn't it? 73% of possession, 70% of territory. That was one-sided as you like. Surprisingly, there is no stat for line breaks there. But both teams were carving up throughout this matchup. Handing her is 10 to 1. Offloads both sides making a couple, but ultimately it was the chances taken by the Hurricanes that seen them home. 21 to 5 over the Crusaders. The undefeated streak is over. And the Hurricanes go into the finals with momentum. Oh, we're getting plenty more from the finals of Super Rugby, as well as one other special match from the final round of Round Robin play. Well, that has been done and dusted for today. Thank you all for tuning in and watching. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. I'll be again for plenty more from Super Rugby. But until then, thank you all for tuning in and watching. And as always, take care.